I'm Dave First. Great to be joined by David Faustino, a longtime race engineer for the number 12 Verizon 5G, Team Penske Chevrolet, and some driver named Will Power, who I think you've been connected to the hip for with, with a long, yep. long, long time. But yep. we'll get to that in a second. Uh, I love to ask this question. How did you get involved in racing? How did this happen? Uh, it actually happened when uh, I was going to college at Rutgers University. Um, got involved with uh, the Formula SAE program where kids, you know, design and build race cars, go compete against other colleges. And uh, yeah, it took off from there. Works out pretty well. Why IndyCar though for you? What was your journey? Uh, you know, I, I, when I was a kid, I got a chance to go see Champ Car uh, race at the Meadowlands. Um, You're not that old. No, when I was a kid, very, <laughs> but uh, you know, it was just, and I, you know, I started watching it on TV, you know, and, and that Formula One, and just really got into the open wheel um, aspect of racing. And then the Formula SAE program was open wheel. So, you know, I just really fell in love with open wheel racing. You met Will, been with Will back in the old uh, Derek Walker days, yes. Walker racing days. Yep. What were you like then? Maybe what was Will like then? You know, we were both. This is what, like 17 years ago or so, right? Yeah, uh, 2007 was our first season yeah. together. I was a race engineer. I started race engineering uh, in Champ Car in 2005. So really, you know, I only had two years under my belt in Champ Car. So we were both pretty new. Uh, he had just come over uh, from Australia about a year and a half before that. Actually, we learned together a lot. You know, there were so many changes you can make on the car in those days. I was helping him learn what things changes should do on the right. race car. You know, and he was helping me understand what a driver can do and what a driver needs. Um, so it was really cool, actually. I think we kind of grew up together and, you know, ratcheted ourselves up. I was gonna ask you, if, did you guys kind of play off each other pretty well because if you would have been paired up with a veteran driver, maybe the relationship would be different, vice versa, if Will had someone else. You're right, I mean, literally came up through this together and obviously yeah. worked out pretty well with some championships and 500, but we'll talk about that in a second, but it really has gone hand in hand, both of your careers, right? Yeah, and you know, the thing that we did really well together is we did a good job whenever a new car came out, like what was really good at understanding how to get the most out of a car pretty quickly, at least to get to that 95% level. And uh, you know, we had the new Panos DP01. We came from the Lolas, went to the Panos, then went to the Indy car. So it was really fun in those days because we had a really new challenge, you know, every other year together. So you're quicker, actually. Oh no, sorry, a little slower on the exit there. Who's this? Uh, this is you and you. Your green is your second sticker run. Blue is your first. Is your earlier run? Early in the day. Early in the day, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. Whatever. You got a couple of yeah. IndyCar Series championships. You got a 500. What? When you look back at your career, not saying it's over with by any means, but what? What is the thing that stands out? to you with Will? You know, I, I think the number of times we've had a chance at the championship. Um, yeah, if I, if I regret anything, it's not winning more because I feel like he deserves more uh, with his performances, especially like in the earlier days yep. of the 2010, 11, 12. You, you know, guys were snake bitten and many things yeah, happening. Yeah, a couple it, little things there. Yeah. So, you know, for me, I just love being a part of, you know, as many polls as he's had and wins and just the long careers. It's great. All of it's great. I don't. You know, I don't really look at one thing and say that was my my most favorite, but I really wish we could have won another championship or two. Well, the thing that strikes me about it among the championships was the 500, and that yeah. there's that iconic moment. He's climbing out of the car. Uh, the emotion is just yeah. topping out, and I'm sure it was for you as well, right? Yeah, I mean, you do that. You spend so much time there, especially those of us that don't live in Indy. It's, it's really rewarding because you spend so much time there, you, you give it so many tries, you don't know when you're gonna get another chance. You've been close a few times and to, to get it was really, really satisfying. Um, and it made all that time and effort, you know, totally worth it. You know, it's yeah. just, it was, it was amazing. And then most recently, obviously, the, the all-time poll record uh, that you're very much a part of. And that's a number that he'd had circled for a number of years yeah. now, which I always thought was crazy. Yeah. Uh, but when you think about it, you two uh, are literally the fastest people in IndyCar racing history. Uh, what does that, I mean, have you thought about that? What that I mean, means? from time to time, yeah. I mean, especially, you know, when it happened, just kind of reflecting on it, it was, um, a very special moment, you know, it's... You guys have done something no one else has done, though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, you know, I haven't, I haven't, you know, it wasn't a goal necessarily, but it's amazing that it happened. And it's amazing that, you know, we, we could work together for that long. And, 
know, he put himself out there last year with some pretty good poles. You know, yeah, that yeah. Laguna was it was it was pretty special. That was not easy for him, and to get that lap together and get that pole, that was that was pretty special. Congratulations, Will Power, the greatest qualifier in IndyCar history. 68 pole positions. Last couple of things. Does your relationship continue to evolve? Yeah, I think so. You know, it, we've known each other for so long, it's hard to like get to know each other any, any better. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not going to happen. But, um, you know, maybe more like an old married couple, we can fight and recover. <laughs> yeah. You know, we kind of know, uh, kind of know each other's limits and stuff yeah. like that. So, uh, yeah, that's maybe great. we're more, more open with each other than ever. Uh, but, but that's uh, good, though. I mean, it's good. 17 yeah. years together. Yeah. So what's next? What's next for you two? Oh, gosh, you know, I, I'd still, every single year, you could go for Indy, go for a championship. And like I said, I still feel like he deserves a couple more championships. So, yeah. you know, what's next for us? Hopefully more of the same. Trying uh, to get the championships. You know, this year didn't start out well, so I'm looking forward to starting out next year really well with, you know, some hopefully some new stuff for us to um, figure out in IndyCar. Yeah. Uh, good luck the rest of the season, and uh, 2024 is going to be here before we know it. Yes. And who knows, we could be talking about another 500, another NTT IndyCar Series championship. So that's the beauty of the sport. Uh, thanks for telling your story. Thank you. Appreciate David it. Faustino, NTT, meet the pack.